Welcome to the channel, I hope all of you are well. Today is episode 14 from season 1 of the Starcade Challenges. Today's video has been released on Christmas Eve. So if you notice, we had a bit of a special intro there. It was a little bit more Christmassy than what it normally is. And I did the church sound, be it a Sunday for the day this has been released. So all the church background noise and thank you to the gentleman that did that for me. Really, really appreciate it. Anyway, the final bit of magic we're going to do before we get on with the show is I'm going to bring Christmas closer to all of you. See these lights behind me? Those ones above me right there? Let's take them down now. So those lights are taken down. And what we're going to do, we are going to be wearing them. We are going to be wearing them on the show so we can be nice and bright and Christmassy. The Starcade Challenges, if you don't know what they are, you get two contestants and they go head to head. They fight and whoever has the best scores plays effectively the game at the end to try and win the prize, which was always an arcade machine. We have two contestants as ever on the show. The first contestant, her name is Lisa. Will she be winning? Will she have that happy smile at the end of the show? And the next contestant is the rather smug looking Sam. Will he still be smug at the end of the show? We don't know. We have to see. We have gone with the view that we had on the last episode where we did where I tell you a little bit about the game, which you can see on this page, on this view that we have for Big Box, which is part of Launch Box here. So the first game we're going to be playing is Pac-Man. What we do is the contestants, they fought each other in ever-decreasing timescales across three games. So it's 60 seconds, 50 seconds, um, 40 seconds, and then the final game was 30 seconds. We are using main that you can see above me to play all the games that we're going to be playing, and I'm going to stop talking right now. So let's fire up the first game. So it's Pac-Man that we've got to play, and we're going to be doing this, or rather Mrs. Pac-Man. And when the game starts, I bring up the scores so you can see what we can beat. So here we are, Mrs. Pac-Man. This is actually a slightly different version of Mrs. Pac-Man that I'm using this time around than what we've used on the show before. Before was actually a bootleg version. I never noticed that. But no, this is the official one. So the coin goes in, and as soon as the maze starts, we will start the counter. So there we go, 60 seconds on the clock, and we have got to beat Lisa's score. And we've got to beat the score by, um, oh God, what's his blood name, what's his bloody name? Sam, we've got to beat Lisa's and Sam's score. Can we do it, can we do it? We might be able to, come on. Oh, you went that way, you bugger. Oh, you got me, you got me. So, not too good, not too good so far. Um, 34 seconds left to go, let's go. And get that power pill there. How are we doing? 27 seconds. Come on, all of you buggers come out. Oh, 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 close, too close, too close. 12 seconds left to go. Right, so I would say we got about 4,300 and something there. Did we beat Sam? No. Actually, yes, we did beat Sam. Did we beat Lisa? No. But yes, Sam. Sam, we destroyed you. So that would be the end of the game there. And then we effectively move to the next game. I don't want to be spoiling that game for you, so we bring up this. Look, and I've changed it. It says the Starcade Challenges now. So, you know, what game am I loading in? Who knows? I know. And remember... The perpetual nightmare that I had with Cuba, how we always, always seemed to be playing that game that I was absolutely useless at, that I was awful at, that, you know, I, I kind of despised for a lot of reasons. Can you guess what game they've decided we're going to be playing next for number two? Yes, I bet you can. It is Donkey Kong. Junior. Now, this doesn't show much about Donkey Kong Jr. that we've got here. Um, it's actually a bootleg one that we've got here, so I need to actually fix this, I think, um, next time we play, um, if they choose to do this game. But we're going to kick it off again and play the glorious, the wonderful Donkey Kong Jr. A coin goes in, we hit fire, and as soon as the game starts, I will show you what we're looking to beat. I hate this game. I truly hate this game. So there we go, Lisa got 2,800, and I didn't do too well there. Ah, damn, I'm dead already, 400, that was about the score that I got there. This takes so much 
concentration from me. Oh, I missed again. Oh, good lord. How are we doing? 14 seconds left of this nightmare. At least I got a bit better score. Oh, no, nah, damn it. At least I got a bit better score than what I got before. But, oh, this game, this game just does not click with me. It does not tickle my, my, my ah, damn it, my dingleberries at all. So, 1,200. I was destroyed by both Sam and Lisa there. I don't think I can ever be good at this game. So, we need to move to the next game. We need to move to the next game. So let's bring up the test card again. And the next game I'm rather excited about. It's actually a twin stick type game here. And it's a new game, a game that we've not played on this channel before. So without further ado, let me swap to this. I'm too excited talking about it because I'm actually looking forward to playing this one. I don't know how good I'm going to be at it. I'm probably going to be absolutely awful at it. But as I say, something that we have not done before. Welcome. To the lost tomb i'll give you a moment to read the instructions on what you've got to do here but basically i've got one stick for movement one stick for fire and this is from stern stern went on to make great great pinball games but today they made the lost tomb or rather in 1982 they made the lost tomb 41 years ago good lord that's a long time isn't it so anyway let's start the game let's do play and let it load in Obviously, I had to have a quick go of this to make sure the screen worked and the game worked because, you know, we need working games for these challenges. But I literally played it and I've only played it for about 30 seconds. I think this is one that I'm going to love. And this one actually would have worked on uh, the Sinclair Spectrum, the Commodore and stuff like that. It looks a fun, solid game. So, coin goes in, fire to start. And as soon as we're ready, as soon as we're ready, the scores will come up. Lock and load, mate. Look, Australian. Lock and load, mate, it says at the top. So you are entering. Yes, we are entering the tomb. Come on. There we go. So we got 40 seconds to score as many points as we can. Collect the treasures. Oh. Boom. Okay, lots of dead spiders. Okay, run, run. Oh, they got me. Run, run, run. It makes very much Robotron type noises when you die as well. Yes, we come on faster, faster. This is killing me. This is killing me all the time. And it's game over. All the time for that bit. So I scored 1,000, 1,060. If I hadn't have died, I would have probably been all right. Alright, so we close that game down. And I did like that game. I did like that game, unfortunately, though. As I say, I just died on the bloody thing. And the final game for the session was a game that you would have all seen 101 times, you know, in, in your retro enjoyment as you've explored retro and hopefully enjoyed retro. And this game is actually Pac-Man. There we go, I need to hit fire on that particular bit. So this game is Pac-Man, Pac-Man, the original game that is called there. So let's launch this. You don't need to read the instructions for this. And we have to beat a couple of reasonably good scores on this. And in fact, not a couple of scores, one score. Good Lord, that one mistake I did made me all fingers and thumbs in the mouth and everything's got wrong. So no, where are we? Sam got through to the final and they got a reasonably good score on this for the brief 30 seconds they had to play. So fire goes in and off we go. And Sam's score was 2,510. Dear Lord, you know, where things go wrong, they go wrong. That's an indication of the live streams where you lose your words just a little bit. And you think, ah, oh, bugger, next thing screwed up, next thing screwed up. You know, I should have hit fire on the pac-man screen so that you wouldn't be able to see oh come on come on come on yep so you wouldn't be able to see that that screen beforehand it doesn't matter it's one of those things i'm not particularly bothered and oh i beat their score so 3200 thereabouts okay wow i actually beat a score and you know what we will take that, we will take that. So now what we do on the challenge is we go and have a little play effectively of everything 
that we play to see how well we can do. I'm going to get myself killed here because we want to start afresh on this game. You know, the scores on the doors are gone. And we will probably also play a bonus game as well. Come on, die. Come on, ghosts. Get me. Chase me. Get me, you bloody things. Yep, we will probably also play a bonus game as well. So here we are. Game over. Game over. So coin goes in. And off we go, off we go. So now, now we're playing the games of the Starcade Challenges for fun. Oh, they got me, they got me, bugger. And the screen is cleared, the screen is cleared, 5,700. Again, all right, one last life, I think. Can we break the 10,000? Let's give that a go. There we go, 12,900, and I think we've got a cutscene. We have a cutscene. Died at our own making. All right. Oh, and I got myself trapped. I got myself trapped. I was thinking of twenty thousand points there, and um, I wrecked that. So. 15,730, yeah, that's good, I'll take that. So we're going to drop back. And we'll drop back again. And we are going to play Donkey Kong Jr. Because that was one of the games that we played. So let's do Donkey Kong Jr. and get this one out of the way. Coin goes in. So I think 1,600 we got last time. So there's now no pressure. There is now no pressure. Let's see how I can do on this awful game that I know loads of you love, but it just does not work for me. You know, the worst Starcade challenges they could they could ever do would be give me Cuba and this at the same time. 
Oh, I jumped into him. Damn it. I've never, ever even got off this screen. Jesus. It's just so hard. It is just so hard. Oh. 2,000 points. That is just poor. But you know what? I'm literally glad. I'm truly glad that that particular game is over. So what else did we do on the channel? What else did we do? Let's go back a screen. There we go. Uh, we did the Lost Tomb. We did the Lost Tomb. We did Mrs. Pac-Man. Let's get Mrs. Pac-Man out of the way. Let's get Mrs. Pac-Man out of the way. Right, let's see whether we can make it to a cutscene on this game. Coin goes in and off we go. Oh, coats, coats. Oh, one more point to go. There was one more point to go. Got it. That was so close. She was so close. Right, nice, got rid of them. Done it, ha oh, ha, that was close, that was a little close. Right, 9,200, we got it, we got to the cutscene. So I'm happy, I've achieved the goal there. Doesn't matter what happens next. All right, let's go again. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. There we go, 1300 points top score and it's only going to get higher
they got me. They got her on the butt. Actually, he didn't get much higher, did it? But there, game over for that. Again, happy with that score. So that leave us, leaves us the Lost Tomb and a bonus game that we're going to play. So we'll drop back here. Drop back here. And we're going to pick the Lost Tomb. Here we go. Off we go. Right now I can have a proper play of this. No time restrictions. Nothing like that. See how far we can blaze. We can blaze through this game. As we parachute into the tomb. It reminds me a little bit already of the pyramid with that picture from uh, ZX Spectrum Games. Right. That reload happened just at the right time. Done. We've done our streaks. So we plan our routes. Go for a door. Let's go for a door number three. Yes. Oh, hang on. Did it pick for us? Oh, what is this? What is this? Damn it. All right. Chased by lightning. We're going to run into door number two. That was a bit unfair, wasn't it? Oh, look. Scorpion things. How do we get into that? Oh, hang on, we got Zeds. Oh, we can blow things up. Aha! We are learning how to play as we go. We have like a smart bomb. All right, how do we get out? It must be down here. Right. Oh, I ran into it. I didn't even see that was an enemy. You idiot. I am an idiot. I was just testing that to see whether that would go through every wall. It seems like it can. Um... Something got me. So here we go. 5,410. That's a fun little game, this is. That really is. Is there a high score table? Bye-bye. No, there's not. All right. One final game to play on the Stargate Challenge, which is a random game of my choice. So if you had your eyes open, you should have seen what it is. You may have seen what it is. And yes, Amada. So, let's do play here, and off we go on a journey. You should all know this game. I don't need to explain this one. Alright, so, coin goes in. I mean, basically, paint squares. Or, and I'm caught. So that's me hitting the fire button. Right, 
Well, that went a bit wrong because I was dicking with the fire button. We're going to have another go here. I never even realised you had fire on this all the years I've been playing this without the fire button. I thought, oh, does it do anything? Oh, it makes things bounce. So it's clearly the gorilla jumping up and down that's disrupting gravity. I suppose it helps a little bit. Oh, I've got no more bounces left. Oh well, I never used to use them anyway. Alright, half the maze is done. Old school ways. Not using the fire button. Okay, we should be all right now. Boom, there you Oh, damn it! <laughs> See, now I've found the fire, but I can't stop pushing the bloody thing. Done! I can't believe this had a fire. Bonus stage. Oh, we didn't get our banana. Uh, this one, I forgot, you got to stay next to the one you just did. Let's go for that 600. Oh, and they got me. But we're on the high score. And that's all that counts. That is all that counts. So we're at the end of the video. And tomorrow is Christmas Day. I hope all of you get what you want for Christmas. I hope all of you have a fantastic Christmas. I really, really do. All of you subscribers, each and every one of you, you have given me a great Christmas gift. You have helped me hit 1,000 subs. Thank you very much to all of you. It means the absolute world to me. WLS, he made GPC Rally. Thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for that. That's such a kind gesture. And I'm still over the moon and hugely touched by that. Gary, you sent me this plaque. And, you know, the plaque that you sent me, you know, shows that we're doing the right things for the right people. Honestly, that was such a kind touching gesture as well um, that you did or completely off your own back you know things like that where people make stuff for you where they do stuff for you means you know far more than you know the day that I hit X amount of subs I will probably never hit that amount but say I get a YouTube plaque or anything like that because you know when you get things that come from the people that's that's what really counts that really is what counts but to everybody that's commented everybody that's subscribed everybody that's given feedback thank you to each and every one of you you've helped the channel grow you've helped us get to where we are you've helped me get over the milestone this channel will never be monetized i have no want to monetize it this is a hobby and i'm not going to take away the fun aspect of the hobby by making it into something where i've actually got to deliver because you've got a reason to do this so have a very very happy christmas and you know what i will see you in the next video this is all i have for you today goodbye Hello there, it's me again. If you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, then Zeus here would love you to subscribe. It makes him happy and it makes me happy. And if Zeus is happy, everybody is happy.
Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.